Are you looking for a capture card that can support up to eight real cameras like this or like this? Well, my studio has one and I'm gonna tell you exactly how it works. This, this guy. The Decklink Quad 2 8 input capture card. This thing is incredible, but it takes a little bit of extra products and extra care to actually get it to work. It's not like your typical Elgato or Avermedia cards where you can just plug in the HDMI and you're good to go. This one takes some specialized equipment and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm making it work and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll know if this card is for you and I hope that uh, me going through my steps and my process is gonna make it easier for you to try out in your studio. Let's go over some of the details. Here's the card, it's a full size PCIe card, so you're gonna need a full slot to plop this thing in. It can take a lot of different kinds of camera inputs. I'm not gonna go through the spec list, you can look it up, it's in the description. I will tell you how I'm using it. I'm using it with four, Sony Alpha cameras, which have micro uh, HDMI, and four GoPro Hero 7 Blacks, which also have, boom, boom, right there, little uh, micro HDMI. So we take the micro HDMI out of these guys, and they have to get converted, because the inputs on this thing are these little tiny guys called DIN, or D-I-N, I actually don't know how to say it, so if you do, tell me in the comments. DIN? D-I-N, I, I, I don't know. But we have to convert some stuff to get there. Let's go through that process. All right, so after you get the capture card installed in your PC and you have your camera, you're gonna need a cable. One of these guys, it's a micro HDMI to full size HDMI. Again, links in the description for everything I'm talking about. So we plug this guy into the camera and then we have to go into a converter box to change it from HDMI into SDI. This is kind of like a coax cable for those of you who are old enough to remember coax cable. And if you're like, what? Don't worry about it. SDI is the name of the cable. And to convert that, we need to get these little boxes. And all of these white lights behind me, each one of those is a converter box. Blackmagic sells them. Those are the ones I'm using. You can get other ones on Amazon or whatever, but your mileage may vary with that. So, Here's all eight of mine. We take the little converter box and it needs to be powered with USB-C. So I have a little USB hub here in the middle distributing power to all eight of the boxes. Once all the boxes have power, you plug the HDMI into one and then you plug the SDI on the other and then you route it out to the computer. And you're thinking, we're done, right? Wrong, because there's another adapter you need. I know, Blackmagic does not make this easy, but it's because they're trying to support a wide range of devices that I honestly don't even know about because this product is not made for idiot musician streamers like me. It's made for like professional video people, all right? And uh, TV and movies and stuff like that. So I'll show you how I make it work. Once again, these are my converter boxes. That is the power source for all the converter boxes. Camera plugs into one of these boxes. SDI cable comes out the back. And for me, it goes up and right through the wall. That's my door. That's the hole that goes to the computers. And now we're in the hallway and look at this. Boom, look at all those cables. Again, here's where it comes out. We go right down the wall and boom, here's my streaming PC. Game PC is down there. Uh, let's talk about these guys. So this is the SDI cable, but then we need this converter that goes from SDI to DIN or DIN. Again, I don't know, but we plug them in here, all eight. And now the card, which is right there, can accept all eight of my cameras, each one of them a 1080p 60 frames per second camera. There's one kind of weird thing about these plugs and I wanna explain it to you right now. Check this out. So if you look at these plugs, there's nine of them. The first one is an output and the rest are input. But here's where it gets weird. If you're using all eight of these, they are not numbered 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They go one, skip two, skip three, skip four, then five, six, seven, eight. I know. Why? I, I couldn't tell you, but that's how it works. So I hope that helps you out when you use this card. If you're still with me so far, thank you for watching so much of the video. Please give me a like, subscribe, consider hitting that bell so you get the notifications because this is the time for me to really work hard on YouTube and I appreciate you. Thank you. So one capture card gets you eight inputs. That's awesome, right? Let's talk about what sucks about this. Number one, it is really, really expensive. The card itself is about a thousand dollars. Then each one of those converter boxes that for me goes from HDMI to SDI are like 50 bucks each. So boom, that's putting the price up. Then you have to buy the SDI cable on top of the HDMI to mini HDMI cable. And you have to buy the converters at the end that go to DIN to get into the actual card. So this whole thing is prohibitively expensive. Now, if you're thinking, whoa, that's way too much money, you're correct. But this is the only way for me to get eight cameras into one PCIe slot on a standard computer system. Now, when I say standard, I mean not moving into Threadripper and other high-end desktop situations that are gonna have six or more PCIe slots. Like Threadripper would be incredible for what I wanna do in my music, gaming, studio situation. But I don't have a Threadripper and this is still less expensive than buying a full Threadripper system with all of those other costs that go with it. So, to summarize, the Black Magic Design Decklink Quad 2 8 input capture card. Is this a card that you would want? Let me know in the comments below and if you have any specific questions about what I talked about or maybe there's something else in my studio here. It's still a total mess because I've only been working on the studio for about a week or so, but if there's anything in the room you're curious about, you have a question, you wanna know what my plan is for it, please let me know and I'll make a follow-up video just for you, all right? So uh, I'll see you on TikTok and soon on Twitch. Later. Uh, hold on guys, I'm getting a message from my video editor. What's that? You need more content. The, the video is too short. You need me to riff on more stuff about the studio. Okay, okay. okay. Did I hang up? Wait, hello. I'll, I'll, I'll hang up. Then you hang up. I'll. I'll, I'll it, he, he hung up. Let me tell you about the only webcam my studio is going to use. What's the single webcam you're asking? What one webcam could be great enough to choose only one? The Obsbot Tiny. Two. This thing is incredible. I've got a bunch of TikTok videos that talk all about it. Please go to my TikTok page and check them out. It is a fully autonomous tracking AI camera. The quality is incredible. It works so well. You can see it spins all around, pan, tilt, zoom, all that. USB-C powered. It's amazing. The Tiny 2 is going to be my eye in the sky. Here's where I'm gonna mount it. You're looking at my desk right now, it's my main camera. Here is my desk camera, and do you see that coiled up cable? That's gonna be for the Tiny 2. So the Tiny 2 is gonna go somewhere like that, up there in the corner, so we can kinda get this like top-down view showing the entire studio. Let me flip it around. So the OBSBOT is gonna have a view somewhat like this. Right? It'll be able to turn around, get the entire room in view. It's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about it. Look how messy my place is right now. Oh, this is atrocious. Stop looking at it. Just, that's the end of the video. Bye!